What's happening hardscapers? Today we're building privacy screens. Let's get into this. These screens are by a company called Hideaway Privacy Screens or Hideaway Screens. They did not pay me to do this video or anything. This is actually my first time trying to build one of these. I'll take you through everything that we had to do with this, including a mistake that I made and Hideaway Screens got back to me right away as soon as I messaged them, so amazing customer service with them. These screens look incredible. This is the branch design, so it's called a branch screen in the black. So you purchase the panels, you purchase the posts separately, and the brackets for the posts, and I'll take you through step by step how we had to do this. Now we did a vlog series on this project where actually we built the steps in behind me here, as well as the fire pit area, walkway, and a pond. And actually this was a difficult one because we couldn't get a machine down this steep slope and we didn't get approval to bring a machine in the public path in behind us. So this was essentially a tight access situation that we did a synthetic base on. The pond was a little bit difficult to do, but uh, with this, we need to bring in a, an electric auger and actually this thing performs really well. These holes were nice and easy to dig. So we are using the battery powered auger doing four holes three feet apart for these privacy screens. I do know that there's electrical running along the pavers and then down this way. So this one's gonna be more of a hand dig because we're getting really close to that. But so far, so good. These posts actually weren't as bad with this thing than the other posts that actually we did on this property and uh, actually went really smooth. Like I said, this one we had to be really careful with the electrical coming across here to then return to the posts in behind me here. So that one was a bit of a pain. Also, there's a pretty big chunk of bricks there that came out of that hole. All right, so we got one, two, three, four. We're four feet down there. We're looking good. Now we're just gonna get these nice and square and get them to the right height. And then we are going to put our posts in and bolt them to this. Now the reason why we're going this route, and we're actually gonna be using this post filler instead of going concrete and then a tap conning into without one of these, just doing a concrete uh, sono tube and then bolting or tap conning the posts into the concrete is that this is just a one day job. Nice quick in and out for this. So we dug our four foot hole, we put our steel posts in and we squared those up to this patio. So we wanted 22 and a half inches from this point to the patio and then we lined all those up. Then we started to bolt down these posts. So we did one, two, three, four posts and then we installed these brackets. So these brackets we lined up this L channel to the middle. So this is actually, this side is actually closer to this edge than the other edge of the post, but we wanted this L channel to be in the middle so that our screen was in the middle. And also with these, we went three inches from the bottom plate to the bottom of this channel. And that's what gave us our, where we were gonna put all of them so all the panels lined up. And then one thing, that we needed to take note of was that the panel doesn't get mounted on this side of the L channel. Otherwise, the holes don't line up. So we actually contacted the guys from Hideaway Screens really quickly on Instagram. They replied right away, they're amazing. And they told us, no, the panel needs to be on the other side, which makes a lot of sense. This is the ugly side hidden away from the hot tub on the other side. So when they're looking at it, they're not looking at the L channel. They're looking at the privacy panel. So that's the direction we went with that. And then so we bolted down. They've got self-tapping screws for this system. So we'll go ahead and keep going with all of these. We just left those off for now. Just did one at the top, one at the bottom. Then we mounted our panels with screws and bolts. So we did one, two, three panels. So here we've got the panels set. We're gonna use the post filler. Gonna get that going. It is starting to rain. I hear thunder. You can probably hear that too. So panels are set. It just started to rain. We're gonna get these in the post now. We got it nice and in. Just gotta make sure that when we're putting this in, we're holding it down for as long as we can. We're, we're holding it square and level until it sets and then we can kind of move on to the next one and move our way through here. So that foam goes in there. You can see it's gonna start to come up. 
these post skirts go together nice and easy. They just got these little push things that go through these holes. So you set them up first, just doing this with one hand. And you push them in and then line them up and push them together as well as the posts up top to hammer home with a mallet and clean things up here. So with these panels, we're gonna install some lights. Now, we, I decided to go with these up lights and I'm gonna give the client an option whether they wanna go three and just have them shining up and at each one of them, one, two, three, or if they wanna do two and do a cross beam, one here and one on the other side and just crossing the beams. Now, that will give them light against this panel which will then spread to uh, around this hot tub area when they're sitting in this so that's the reason why we went with this option the other option would be to actually install lights shining down on each of these the problem with that route which would look nice is when they're sitting in the hot tub if they look over here that light is at the perfect height to shine in their eyes so in order to give them some light and to, for it to not be in their eyes, because outdoor lighting, we want to keep the light fixture out of people's eyes. So we want to hide the light, but reflect it against something to give them some light. That's why we went with these up lights and we'll do one, two, maybe three. Good thing about this is I already have a wire coming from a transformer over there that actually hooks up to the fire pit for lights and then the wire comes along here and has a bunch of lights on the steps which is perfect because we still have enough room on this run to add three lights if need be and I've already dug this up and can go ahead and install these lights and those are the privacy screens all done three separates the hot tub area from this space. The reason why it's about two feet out from the patio is that we do have that electrical running along 18 inches down here. So we didn't want to hit that line. We wanted to stay as far away from that line as possible, but it also gives them a chance to do some plantings along here, which you can see there, as well as get some lights in there because we want the lights on this side and not on the posts here. But let me know your thoughts and your comments in the comment section below. Would you have done something differently with the way I designed this, with the way I installed it? I'd love to know. We don't do many privacy screens. This is the first time using these hideaway screens. So let me know your thoughts, your comments in the comment section below. Like this video if you found it helpful for whatever reason and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.